Hey there friends, how's it going? I got something special for you today, but before we get started, I just want to let you know I created a second channel, link in the description. I'll be uploading similar style videos there, also gameplay. If you want to check it out, please do subscribe. I hope to see you over there. I'll be starting to upload on there soon. Anyway, enjoy the video. Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're doing something a little bit different. When I say a little bit different, I just mean not among us, essentially. <laughs> no, but I have something to share with you. I've been meaning to share this with you for so long, but I am an author. That's right. You may be familiar with the site Creepypasta. Well, I have one of the top rated stories of all time on their sister site, Crappy Pasta. <laughs> That's right, I wrote a story that ascended the ranks of crap and got to one of the most highly rated crappy pastas of all time. How creepy pasta used to work at least, you could submit a story and if it was good, it would go up on creepy pasta and if it was bad, they'd send it to crappy pasta where people could critique your writings and whatnot. And you could try and improve and get on the main site. And uh, well, I submitted a story using my best efforts at storytelling and uh, it didn't go over so well. <laughs> but I think I hit that that niche where it's just so bad that it's good, which is exactly what I'm aiming for. As someone who has studied Tommy Wiseau religiously, it, it meant a lot to me. Oh, whoa, whoa. Unfortunately, Crappy Pasta no longer exists. They sold the domain and for some reason somebody bought it and then deleted all the stories off it because they were saying it was ambiguous who had the ownership and all this and then they just left it at that. They so yeah, had nice one. Thanks for that. My proudest achievement just deleted. I've also gone the extra mile and got this animated so we can watch it all together as an animation. It's animated by the same person who did the Jim Pickens Child animation. Very, very talented uh, animator. I'm worried I'll pronounce their name wrong, so I'm just going to spell it out. It's LR130. The link to their channel is in the description if you want to check that out. Sound like a bit of a boomer. <laughs> Hello, I'd like an X360 box, please. Well, yeah, let's roll the film and watch it together, uninterrupted. Ooh. Oh, and one final note. Sorry, I'm rambling, but one final note. The way the subtitles are done are how it was written in the story, just for a bit of context. Okay, enjoy. The supermarket monster. Once in a place far away, a very long time ago, there was an boy named Roger. He was tall, but a bit round. He lived in a big city where unusual things seem to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. Anyway, Roger had lots of enemies in the city. All the people he used to like were now his enemies because he's changed. He used to be a really successful banker named Ron, but he decided to go another way and now he is a hobo named Roger. Because of this, his friends thought they didn't like him anymore, so they said, You're our enemy now! And Roger was like, Oh no! I have no friends, but loads of enemies. Roger lives day to tomorrow by the change he gets off strangers outside McDonald's, but sometimes he... When he gets enough money, he goes to the local shopping center called Teco. He can only buy things when they are on sale, so he only buys things when they are on sale because he doesn't have any much money. Sometimes he even gets enough change to buy chicken when it's on sale, and he goes into KFC and says, Can you cook this for me? And they do it because they are his enemies and spit in the food. Yuck! Today, on the most windy, and stormy, and rainy, and cloudy, and sad of days, he decided he needed to eat and went to Teco. When he went inside, there was no baskets. This was weird. Roger thought that that must be giving them a break today, so he kept going. He saw that the bread was on sale, so he was going to buy it. And then a big, fat, hairy man ran up to him and said, No, that not for or you. And he took the sale sign away, which made the bread go back up to $100,000. This is all in the future, so that's normal for the future. Roger made a face similar to this, and he said, But if you don't give me that, I will starve. And the fat man laughed, and his fat went bouncy from laughing. Then one of Ron's enemies died, so Ron felt his anger rising. That happens when his enemies die. And he punched the man so hard that his fat fell off. And the man was so angry that he cried blood. Then the lights went out so fast that Roger knew he was going to be murdered. A black mist came out of the cereal boxes, and the bacon was flying everywhere. Pancake mix splashing over the counters. Freezers freezing at higher temperature than normal so that it was freezing the frozen pizzas too much. Ron ran way far away to that aisle that's always full of people. It has like... Loads of sweets and crips. Yummy. 
There was like 10, no wait, 15 monsters there, all black with eyes, oogieing with blood and tears that at looked like bacon, but were actually dead people's skin. He screamed, fat man, help! But when the fat man came her, he said, you punched my fat and now you will pay. I am your enemy. And then he ran and went inside a freezer, but forgot that the freezers froze too hard now, and he died from freeze. Roger ran to an exit and was almost out when he tripped on something. He looked down and saw his enemy saying, Help me, the pancakes were too string. And then he said, No, I am Roger, you were Ron's friend, not mine, smelly. And he ran out the door. He was safe. He got out. He escaped. He avoided death. He was alive. He was tall. He was safe. He was Roger. Then he went he back in for the bread, but forgot about the monsters. So when he got the bread, the monsters came out between the slices and cried blood from their mouths, saying, We are your enemies, Ron. He said, How do you know? Oh, my n old name. And then they ate him, and he just fell down on the floor, crying from death. His last words were, I am all your enemies. Then he fell down and died. Just before he died, he said, I will now be a supermarket monster. So when you are in a supermarket, remember that Ron is waiting. In the future, though, because it's in the future, remember? Y you like it? <laughs> <laughs> Even just rewatching it, just how ridiculous it is. Oh, it's so bad. I mean, good. You can see why it got so much critical acclaim, can't you? I, there's just so much to unpack with the whole thing. It, oh, why did I take those off? Now I'm gonna have to snap them back on in a second. Like, even the fact that at the end, it, it says his last words were, but then he says more, and then it goes back and he says something before he dies. Like, he dies like four times. Oh, God. That was from um, past Kevin, from my mind about seven years ago. And you know what makes it even worse is that wasn't for like a video or anything. I was just submitting a story for my own fun and enjoyment. But it spawned quite a lot of like little videos around it. I took a little look at some of them. Like there's a Gmod animation. There's a few little animations of it. And then there's some like dramatic readings that I want to I wanna take a little look at with you. Ooh, this one's by Mr. Creepy Pasta, who I think does dramatic readings of a lot of um, creepy pastas, but I guess he made an exception for one crappy pasta. Unusual things seem to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's just as accounted. So far, good reading. One second, I want to I wanna focus on his pronunciations here. You're our enemy now. No, 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 sorry, dude, sorry, it's enemy, <laughs> it's not enemy, it's enemy, we're done, no more, your career is over. He can only buy things when, so he only buys things. <laughs> He's getting so confused in the comments, he died from freeze, the pancakes are too string, in the future though, because it's in the future. I love life. See, this is what I wanted as an author, I wanted to bring happiness. This is a definitive masterpiece, one of the most poignant and beautiful stories ever written. It, after deep consideration, yields value insights into the nature of friendship, antisociality, poverty, inflation, and of course, fear. <laughs> I can still feel the elevated heartbeat when we thought Roger would serve, or the ghostly terror when the ten, no wait, fifteen monsters cried blood from their mouths from in between those horrifying bread slices. I'm sure this story will be passed on by literature classes and hushed fireside whispers through throughout generations hence. Oh, you're more optimistic than I, the Indian ninja. My fat went bouncy from laughing at this. <laughs> This sounds like it's been written by a 10 year old or a four year old. That's an insult to 10 year olds every- Hey, come on guys. I'm done with this comment section. Let's move on. So this is by Zombie Horse, their channel is called. I watched a little bit of this and honestly, it is fantastic. I love these guys. So the guy on the left is kind of telling the story and the right is kind of building the story for you, kind of reacting and just immersing you in the story. And honestly, with what they have to work with, it just, it works just perfectly. A very long time ago, there was an boy named Roger. He Anne. was an boy. <laughs> oh, if you think that's bad, get ready for the rest. You're just gonna read him how it is? Yeah, I'm reading him exactly how it <laughs> is. That's how I like it. For unusual things seem to happen every day. For example, his uncle died. That's fucking 
That's strange. <laughs> I'm glad someone else agrees with me. Anyway, Roger had lots of enemies. No. Nope. E-N-I-M-E-S. Careful with that. Have you ever lost anyone? My grandma. That's unusual. <laughs> They're fantastic. Off strangers outside McDonald's, but sometimes he... When he I gets... I don't know how to act that one out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the poor guy! How can you work with this? So he only buys things when they are on sale because he doesn't have any much money. <laughs> that wasn't fucking redundant as well. <laughs> Dude, that, that is their problem. Like, if they're struggling with this so far, this is just the intro. It gets so much worse. That, that must be give, giving with an E. <laughs> He's struggling so much. Even the mind was like, I can't. And he took the sale sign away, which made the bread go back up to $100,000. It's inflation. Dude, come on. Why is this bread $100,000 fucking dollars? It's in the future. They don't get it. This is all in the future, so that's normal for the future. See? Th thanks for fucking telling us that. No problem at all, young man. Did he even mention that this is... <laughs> no! <laughs> He's so upset! Did he even mention that this is... No! Once in a place far away a very long time ago. He He's on top of his game because there's a lot of little things like that that contradict each other and a lot of people don't notice it. So this, this is, th these are two of the three wise men. <laughs> I'm third. <laughs> Roger made a face similar to this <laughs> and then he puts a, an emoticon. <laughs> a black mist came out of the cereal boxes and the- <laughs> That was it for you, huh? That's what broke the mime of all things. <laughs> He's having a great time. Freezers freezing at higher temperature. <laughs> See, he's very observant. He gets me. So that it was freezing the frozen pizzazzas too much. <laughs> Oh, I can't stop laughing just how disappointed he is. Oh, he reminds me of my dad in a way. It has like loads of sweets and crips. Like like the gang? I like the gang, yes. The, my animator missed that. They didn't realize I meant the gang. Honestly. Yeah, be honest. The, creepy, right? The thing about the thing about these really shitty stories. Yeah. Don't be honest. That's mean. The visuals are They're powerful. so creative. Right. Lots of visuals. Yeah, lots of creative visuals. I'm more of a creative guy, you know? You punch my fat and now you will pay. <laughs> Is that the end? No. Oh. He put like 40 <laughs> ellipses. Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait it out. Thank you for committing to my story. So when you are in a supermarket, remember that Ron is waiting. In the future though, because it's in the future, remember? I liked it. See? What did you think? Left a little bit to be desired. The, but um, I like- I did like it. Yeah. Yeah, that was, uh, yeah I liked it too. Honestly, that was great. Those two guys seem amazing. They're fantastic. Wait, someone in the comments said it was a class writing assignment. A kid wrote this. It was supposed to be funny and stupid. It was explained on chilling tales for dark nights. What the hell is that? No kid would be capable of writing this masterpiece. The thing is, I didn't credit myself in the credits, so there was no real trail back to me for it. The only real link to me that I can- I can show is on my old channel uh, all the videos are private now but I did a little reading of the story a few months after I actually wrote it it took off so well I was like maybe people will enjoy it if I do a little reading of it there was a boy named Roger he was tall but a bit round Let's see very dramatic Super dramatic reading. Also, at the end, I said this story was a Kevin original, so please don't steal it, publish it, and make loads of dollarinos. It's too late for April Fools, so I am serious. If any publishers want to publish it, please contact me. I'm willing to give you like half a percent of the profit, which would still be millions, let's face it. And here's the dramatic reading to the, the Gmod animation. I'm just curious what they've done with it, you know? Because how do you interpret that that mess? <laughs> you know, how do you animate that? How do you see it in your head? There was like 10, no wait. 15 months That's there. more what I visualized when I see it in my head, actually. Not that one. <laughs> but in general, the rest of them, just kind of like human-bodied, scary things, you know? So when he got to the bread, the monsters came out between the slices and cried blood from their mouths, saying... S that's very visual. I love it. This is really good. And he screamed, Fat Man, help! This is quite a nice Fat little simple animation as well. It inspired a lot of artists, obviously. This is an interesting... And his fat went bouncy from laughing. Take on <laughs> oh, the story. I kind 
kind of like it. All right, you know what? That's enough for one day, I think. Uh, my my brain needs uh, to re relax for a minute. It can't take much of that reality. <laughs> it starts to hurt. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed the story. I really do. I, I, I'm very proud of it, even though it is ridiculous. I am genuinely very, very proud. I hope you are equally proud and you got a lot of enjoyment out of it. I'm going to put the story in written form below in the description if you want to read it to, to again, immortalize it because the original site is gone. I'll either put it in there. If it won't fit, I'll put a link out to it. Uh, I'll thank you very much for watching, folks. If you like seeing different stuff like this, do let me know because I'd love to do different stuff every now and again and just mix it up a little. It's, it's always nice to keep things fresh. But yeah, I post every day if you want to see more of my stuff. Also stream over on Twitch like four times a week. Link is in the description. But uh, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed. Appreciate you as always and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.